This video is to teach you how to check your Bosch number of your pump to be able to tell what type of pump you have on your truck. Now you're probably wondering why this is important. This is important for our 2000 to 2002 uh, six speed standard shift transmission customers that have what's called the 17X or the 245 horsepower pump and also our mid-range customers uh, in agriculture applications or maybe mid-range applications like um, deuce and a half trucks uh, freight liner chassis and things of that nature. Anything that has a VP44 on it in the mid-range application is considered a 16X. What you'll always want to do when you're ordering a 16X pump for a mid-range guy or a six-speed guy is you want to come out and check your Bosch number that is on the pump. This long number that starts with a 047, this is the Bosch number that denotes what type of pump is on the truck. Now you can see that this pump ends in a 015. This means that this is a 15X pump, so it is for a 235 horsepower or a standard shift or a five speed standard shift or an automatic transmission truck. Now, if you have a six speed truck, this will end in a multiple of seven. So it'll be a 014, 021, or a 028. Now, also on this tag, um, you'll also have your key number. Now, if you're ever looking, wondering what the what size key your pump has in it, uh, most, most Bosch tags on this machine surface, at the bottom of the machine surface, it will actually have the key size, which is a .045. So that teaches you a little bit about the tag and what's on the tag and what it means, um, what it means in, in relation to what type of pump that you have on the truck. Now, being able to see it on the truck is a little bit different animal. When the pump is mounted on the truck, it's actually going to be mounted like this, this towards the front of the motor, discharge line towards the back, and it'll be cantered slightly like this. Now, as you can see, above the plate, you're going to have your inlet side and your return side line, so it's going to make it difficult for, this, for you to be able to see this machine surface. So what our camera guy is going to do is he's going to move up to where you kind of got a bird's eye view, and we're going to show you how the best way to check this is with the pump on the truck. What we use is just a normal inspection mirror like you can get from any, any uh, auto parts store. You'll just come in and you'll simply go underneath of the lines and you'll see that this, this truck actually has a remanufactured pump on it. So that's why this tag looks a little bit different, but that's a Bosch remanufactured uh, tag. And you can see on there where, it'll, where it says 15X, it'll say IP. Okay. So they can see the tag that the camera's not focusing. Right. And you can actually see on that tag where it says IPRV15X. And that tells us what that what this pump is. Now if you use a little bit of brake cleaner um, to get down there and clean the tag off before you go down with your inspection mirror, you should be able to look at that machine surface or the Bosch tag on the side of the pump and be able to tell what type of pump you have. This is very important for us, especially with our six-speed customers and our, our mid-range customers because our cores are like for like. If you order a 17X or a 245 horsepower VP44 from us, you have to send us a 245 horsepower or 17X core back. If not, you will be charged a $250 fee for the core not being the same. So this is very important and this video is really centered around the guys that have the night that, that have the 2000 six-speed trucks the 2000 six-speed trucks could have had either pump in it they could have had a 15x which was a 235 which is the non-high output engine or the 245 horsepower high output engine now if you're unable to see your Bosch tag on your engine or for some reason you can't get to it, you're going to have to pull the pump and get the pump on a workbench to be able to see exactly what type of pump that you have. And this is especially, again, this is especially important for our 2000, our year, model year 2000 customers with a six-speed transmission in them. That's when you could have had either the 235 non-high output motor or the 245 horsepower high output motor. You can also check the Cummins tag that's on the engine. This is on the timing cover of the engine, and it's actually facing the driver's side. It's, it's a little bit difficult to see. The lighting for our shot, where it's not going to be able to let us get in here for a camera shot to be able to see it. Uh, but that is where your Cummins engine data tag, and it's uh, mounted on the, it's, it's located on the engine timing cover, the timing gear cover, 
and it's situated up and down. It's hard to see, small writing on it. So that may take you a little bit more to be able to see that one, um, but that's another good way. But if someone else has worked on your truck and didn't know any better, they may have put a 17X pump on here or 245 horsepower pump on uh, when it really needed a 15X. So if you've got a question of what pump you've got, to have, what got on your truck, try the mirror trick to get in there to see what type of, what the number is on it. If not, you're going to have to pull the pump, get it on your workbench and find out exactly what you have before you order it. If you need anything, just let us know.